Welcome to this month's Flutecast. We're doing a, a two-part episode on a very, uh, very interesting, very useful alternate scale. Uh, this scale will give you access to some very important songs, and we'll also do it in a way that you can't possibly forget the scale or the songs. So the alternate scale is very straightforward. Give it a try, pick up a flute, and just play your bottom note, and then pick up two fingers. Try that a few times. This is the way you learn any scale. You start from the bottom notes and you just play them a few times and you, then you add one note at a time. We're going to go two fingers and the rule is pick up two more fingers. Pick up two more fingers. Now that might sound um, a little new in terms of the note, and it also might feel different because you're picking up this third finger that's often the, the unloved finger, right? It's always sitting on the flute. It never comes up. Well, now it's going to get a chance to play two fingers and two fingers. Try those notes a few times. And the last note in the scale is the top note that we typically play. We call it the octave note, and it's this, just the third finger down, all other holes open. We'll add it to our scale. So far, we've been running just up and down the scale. Now, when you're comfortable with it, it's time to start mixing up the notes and not running the scales uh, in order. Changing notes. If this scale is starting to sound familiar, it's the bugle scale. It's the scales that bugles play, and it gives us access to the song we're going to do this month, which is Taps. Taps is a, a beautiful song. Uh, most people know it, and most people have a, a really emotional connection to this song. It's very straightforward to play, but we actually use it in workshops to access vibrato because it carries so much emotion for people that a lot of flute players will naturally start adding vibrato when they play taps. So here's the version of taps. I'm going to follow along with the sheet music. Of course, the sheet music is out on Flutopedia. Go to Flutopedia, go to the songbook, and you'll find taps out there if you'd like to download it. And then we're also going to follow it along with the highlighting on the sheet music. Taps. Taps on a Native American flute is a really important part of our repertoire. Learn this song, but learn it in a way that you can't possibly forget it. So this rule is very simple. Pick up two fingers, pick up two fingers, and play the top note. If you're called on to play on it, don't say, oh, I don't remember it, or oh, I have to go get the sheet music. Go off to the side, run the rule, two fingers, two fingers, top note, figure out the song from your own heart, and play it with all the emotion that you can muster. These are the kind of things we do at our workshops. Uh, Vera and I lead uh, 
five or six workshops, multi-day workshops throughout the year. Very, very simple techniques. We will teach a song or two in these, especially songs like this that are very easy to learn, very easy to play, very easy to remember. So we hope you can join us. So this is a two-part flute cast. Uh, next month, we're going to use this same scale, the bugle scale, to access another very important song for the native flute repertoire, uh, Amazing Grace.